Any activity shown on a reality show is as important as the cast, as any imbalance between the two will ultimately result in something that might not be so impressive. The producers of Street Outlaws seem to be well at home with this fact and have really shown commitment in choosing the cast members of the show. One of such cast members is Ryan Martin, who has had quite an amazing time on the show, sweeping up followers while on it. His growth on the show has, however, not been without its challenges and has faced situations that turned out to be life-threatening. Join us as we shed some light on what happened to Ryan on the show and how he is holding up at the moment. Ryan Martin's time on Street Outlaws has been a mix of great performances and unfortunate events, which seems pretty normal for anyone on the career path. For that singular reason, street racing is very much illegal in most places, but Street Outlaws has managed to make the best out of this sport. Now, Ryan Martin wasn't always a member of the show and had a pretty stable life before the opportunity called for him to join the show. So, let's take a quick dive looking at some of the early events that propelled this star into life on the tracks. Considering Ryan's early life, you might not be wrong to think that he might not have dreamed that his career path would lead to life on the tracks, living each day with so much uncertainty about what each race will bring. He was born in Ohio, United States, where he had a relatively quiet life. Early in his life, Ryan wasn't exactly drawn to powerful machines initially. He grew up having some level of interest in painting, drawing, and photography. There wasn't anything that really pointed to his later found love in machines. He just had quite a normal life for a kid. Though information about his early life is scarce, it seems that the star grew up more around his mother, whom he has attributed with teaching him most of the things that he knows. This mainly centered on discipline and temperament though, and wasn't exactly a guide to the path he later took. But clearly Ryan must have built his interest in cars at a really young age and must have had his time around these powerful engines, which inspired him to own his own garage, B and R performance, where he catered to different racers. Turns out that the family had moved to Oklahoma when he was still very young, which paved the path for him to join street racing. It was during his time in high school that he started progressing, gradually getting involved in local street racing events. Everyone knows Ryan with the fireball that he races in now, but he started with a 9.5-liter Mustang that was already modified enough by the previous owner. The car was powerful enough to serve a teenager who was looking to make a name for himself on the tracks. Having this vehicle ignited something in Ryan, which has led him on, even to this moment in his life. The young lad got really dedicated to his newly found love in cars and was bound to make it big in that line. Career and growth. For Ryan, B and R performance must have been a dream come true. Even before joining street racing, he made quite a living from the garage and it was even the place where he honed his skills that propelled him into the scenes of street racing. Located in Norman, Oklahoma, B and R performance has been the go-to place for drivers of high-performance vehicles, getting their cars tuned in preparation for their big days. They also offered more detailed builds that come at way higher prices where they showcase some of their most on-demand skills. The business is co-owned with Billy Hayes. A closer look at the name of the business will reveal that it was coined using the initials of both Billy and Ryan. A visit to their social media handles will reveal some of the amazing jobs that they have done over the years and still with no signs of slowing down. One thing that might have served as the right push for Ryan must have been the personalities that he got to work on their cars in the shop. He had the opportunity of working with the likes of Jackie Knox and Freakin' Reekin, some of the most iconic names in Street Outlaws. No doubt, this must have been his window into the show. Having a skill is one thing and knowing what to do with it is another. Ryan on his part was bent on proving that he had a lot more in him than working under the hood of these vehicles. He was poised to feel the power of the engines behind the wheels and also make his way to the top while at it. While working at the shop, he also got the opportunity to meet the likes of Justin Shearer, also known as Big Chief. It must have been hard and irresistible to take a shot at life on the tracks with all these people around to guide him. And that was exactly what he did. So around the second season of the show, Ryan Martin found his way in and quickly enticed fans with his skills on the tracks. Turns out the man wasn't just good with the wrench, 
He had some fire in him, too, and was ready to build one of the best careers that the show has ever seen. He became part of The Street Outlaws, a show that dwelled on seemingly illegal street racing, providing a platform for both fans and racers alike to live out their best dreams. At intervals, there have been incidents that remind the people why the sport isn't widely appreciated and legal. Racers get caught in situations that almost cost them their lives. It would be really sad to see anything like this happen, as it would be a great loss for both families and fans alike. That's why safety seems to be taken seriously on set, and Ryan particularly has taken that to heart. His keen attention to safety while on the tracks might have saved him more than once and would be the reason why he might never underplay it. When Ryan joined the show, his outstanding performances on the show threatened some of the original 405 members that made up the cast the show kicked off with. This got him into a bit of friction with people like Daddy Dave, whom he had displaced at some point from the first position. Some believe that Daddy Dave's displacement was due to the fact that he had lost his own car earlier in an accident. But the fact remained that Ryan was also very dedicated to his craft and had some really interesting pieces of equipment that got him the win. But that wouldn't be the only time that the two were caught in the struggle for who would make it to the top. During the third round of the Invitational Series for the NPK, which was held in Palm Beach International Raceway, a little drama unfolded that even had their fans involved. The case was later decided by a team of experts who were hired to review footage from the race. It turned out that during the race, the timing system that should have been used to determine the winner of the race developed a fault and made it difficult for a winner to be declared. Initially, the win went to Daddy Dave. But when the footage from a 360 camera that Ryan had on his car was reviewed, it showed that he was ahead by a car's length. Consequently, the declaration of the winner was delayed, leaving fans to debate who the actual winner was. In the long run, the result was overturned and Ryan was declared the rightful winner of the race. That stay at the top was short-lived as the dissatisfied members planned and pitched him against Chucks, who succeeded in removing him from the spot only one hour after he gained it. Despite all that, Ryan had shown resilience and had proven to fans that he had a place in the show and would be poised to make more impact later if given the opportunity. In all, Street Outlaws became very successful over the years, resulting in spin-offs that looked into the thrills of street racing in different communities of racers. The very first thing that captured the attention of the producers was the growing community of these underground racers, who obviously inspired followership and provided entertainment for interested parties. As the show grew, it gave birth to spin-offs like Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings. This particular spin-off is unique for some reasons. It peered into the life of racers who engaged in races unprepared. It was more like unexpected challenges that were designed to push these racers to their limits, where they get to showcase what they're made of. It was both a test of their driving skills and the power of their engines. It also provided viewers with raw footage from these races, designed to look like the original street races that people might have been more familiar with incorporating the uncertainties and crude settings that are meant to challenge the racers. That aside, Ryan didn't just storm into the world of street racing with street outlaws. It was his display of skills in other local competitions that drew the attention of the producers and secured him a spot on the show. The only thing is, his journey into popularity came with the show, and he is using that fame well at the moment, especially as a push for his business. When Ryan joined the high-octane world of street outlaws, he quickly carved a reputation for himself and became recognizable with his dedication on the tracks. His aggressive driving style also showed that he knew what was at stake for him in these races and wasn't going to give any chance to losing the races. His competitive spirit was his major distinguishing feature, and fans were quickly drawn to this. He still maintained such dedication, and we wait to see what exploits he will make in the near future. And of course, what would you expect from a car builder turned racer? Certainly he won't be seen driving anything less than the best of the machines in the competitions. His cars are bound to reflect his trade and personality, which is in fact the greatest publicity that he will ever give his business.
Ryan was widely known for driving the iconic Fireball Camaro, which is a 2010 Chevrolet Camaro SS, with extensive modifications to suit the taste and purpose that it is meant to serve. And with Ryan's background, he was able to equip the car with state-of-the-art boosters that really threatened anyone who dared compete against this beast on the tracks. Just so you know how beautiful this car is, it features a twin-turbocharged 622-cubic-inch big-block Chevrolet engine, which was also paired with a Rossler three-speed automatic transmission. The chassis of the car is, of course, custom-built, with some of the most impressive safety features that protect the driver. Also, the suspension on the car is insane, featuring massive rear tires that help with traction. As much as skill is required in on the tracks, Having the best engine is also an added advantage and could save you a lot of stress on the tracks. Ryan was very much at home with this fact. Ryan also knew that street drag racing is a very dangerous venture, and that's why the car comes well fitted with protective frames. Despite Ryan's background and experience with cars, both under the hood and in the tracks, mistakes and accidents are bound to occur at intervals. Ryan himself had said that he knew that accidents on the tracks were a matter of when, then if. So sometime in 2022, Fireball might have taken its name literally and developed a fault on the tracks that almost took Ryan's life. A day before the said race, Ryan and his team just discovered that Fireball wasn't just in the best shape for the coming race. And so they had to stay up trying to figure out what the issue was and possibly get it in shape for the challenge that awaited it the following day. But despite all efforts, the car was bent on caving in later on. Ryan behind the wheels, ready to beat the opponent to the finish line and also ready to lay claim to the prize that was on the line for the competition, never thought that he would be betrayed by his own vehicle. Just shortly into the race, Fireball must have burst into flame spreading debris all over the racetrack and leaving fans and the show's crew wondering what the fate of Ryan was inside the car. Luckily, Ryan was able to come out of the vehicle with minor injuries thanks to the safety measures that were put in place. In the course of the crash, Ryan must have lost one of his cameras, which made it impossible to see a close-up shot of what the accident must have looked like from inside the vehicle. In an interview that followed after the accident, Ryan was seen describing what the accident had felt like from inside the car. According to him, it was like someone had thrown a grenade at the vehicle, and all he could hear was the loud bang, after which he got lost in the debris flying around and other car parts that got dislodged and were bouncing all over. Looking at Fireball, one could see all the spots that had been perforated by possible metal pieces flying around during the accident. But luckily for Ryan, he was not hit by any of them. This here was a reminder that the sport was a risky one, and anyone who wanted to venture into the sport should be well aware of these risks and be ready to take necessary measures that will minimize them. This adds to the reason why street racing is quite an expensive venture and could be damaging to one's finances if one fails to plan well before venturing into it. This incident wasn't going to deter Ryan from joining other competitions. In fact, he was seen working on getting Fireball back on track just shortly after the incident. Talk about resilience and dedication. This won't even be the only time that Ryan has been involved in an accident. One of the accidents that could have been fatal involved him and Lizzie Muzi, one of the few females who found a place on the show. At high speeds, Lizzie lost control of her vehicle during one of the races, resulting in her car moving off her lane and colliding with Ryan's car at the finish line. Surprisingly, the two were able to get their cars under control before the damage became bad enough. Ryan was later seen speaking on how the outcome would have gone way beyond the damage that was done to his car if things had gone differently. He also understood that occurrences like this were bound to happen and one could only hope to come out safe from them. Not minding what had happened, he already won that race before the accident and just had to fix his car up and get ready for future races. In addition to Fireball Camaro, Ryan has also piloted several other awe-inspiring and uniquely crafted cars over the years, including Stevie Fast, the Pro-Charged Camaro. Each of these automotive marvels boasts its own distinctive character and has played a pivotal role in shaping Ryan's illustrious racing career. Personal Relationship 
Despite the dedication that Ryan has for racing, he has a life beyond the tracks too. He is currently known to be in a relationship with Cherish Casey, whom he had met on a blind date. And currently, they both have a child together, a boy called Dax. One thing that has been unclear is if the two are already married. Despite Ryan making both Casey and Dax an important part of his life, acknowledging them every now and then, he hasn't been exactly open with his personal life, which makes it difficult to know some of the details. As far as we know, the two are still together and we look forward to seeing more amazing sides of the couple. Ryan hasn't just been another member of the Street Outlaws show, he has also made marks that no other person in the show has made before. He is a three-time champion on the show, a position that he secured navigating the unpredictable terrain that the show is set in, a testament to his skills and dedication to what he does. From his early days at B&R Performance to his exhilarating rise to fame on Street Outlaws, Ryan Martin's journey in the world of street racing is a gripping tale of passion, perseverance, and unyielding determination. His unbridled love for cars, his unmatched technical expertise, and his fearless driving have made him a legend in the industry, earning him the respect and admiration of fans and competitors alike. Despite these formidable challenges, Ryan has always demonstrated extraordinary resilience and determination, bouncing back from each setback with renewed vigor and determination. To this day, he remains a force to reckon with in the tracks and is showing no signs of backing off anytime soon. So we will be see seeing more from this amazing character. Stay tuned on the channel, and we will be sure to bring you any updates in the future. Till next time, goodbye.